Hi guys, I'm Devin Moultrie. I'm the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructor at Extreme Velocity. And today we're going to do some basic side control in space when you're dealing with like heavier opponent spaces. So, common. First things first is whenever someone passes your guard, even when you're practicing, always be here. Because if you just kind of land here, even during practice, you land here, this is where you're going to end up a lot. Okay? So, here. Okay? That way they can't put shoulder pressure too easy. I can start to make him uncomfortable as well. So him being very strong, he's gonna pressure me. He's gonna put pressure on the side. He's got his weight on me really well, very distributed. So, but I have everything framed up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make him extremely uncomfortable. I'm gonna take my form and basically saw into his neck. Once I'm here, step, and I can replace, okay? So here, he's putting pressure. Everything's perfect. I'm gonna get from under him. I'm gonna basically bring my forearm into his neck. Now, notice how I'm grabbing his shoulder. I'm kind of grabbing his shoulder so I can get a little push and leverage. So, once I'm here, I'm gonna step, pull, pull, and come here. I like this setup because now I can start to attack. You don't always have to escape and bail, you can always escape and go right into an attack. Okay, one more time. So, I'm here, it's locking me down. I don't want shoulder pressure on my face, so I push him up. Step here. See what's open? It's one. Side control escape two. This arm is trapped. So I'm having trouble getting them out, whatever the case may be. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm kinda buck because I need to get my arm either in or out. It's better to go down where my elbow is, so buck. Get my arm out. Once my arm is here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be here. I usually like to grab here. I like to push and I still use the forearm. He can basically reach over and attack the arm, so be very cautious of this. So be very careful of that. Once you're here, same thing. I'm gonna step, I'm gonna lift, but instead I'm gonna kind of bring my heels up, we'll push here, and then I'm gonna shoot out. I like to stay here. This sets up for another attack. Like I said, you don't have to bail, you can go into another attack. Here, my arm is trapped. I'm having trouble getting it out. Buck, get this arm out. Now, as I'm turning, see what I'm doing with my hand? Small detail for the cameraman. See what I'm doing? I'm lashing back of his head. I'm kind of pushing his jaw away, my forearm, to make him uncomfortable. And like I said, be aware that he can't attack this arm, so make sure you get out quickly. So if you're here, you're in trouble. Once I'm here, I'm going to bridge to buck him up this way. Lift them this way, and I'm gonna shoot out. I like to keep the head because, like I said, there's other attacks. There's a lot of other things I can do from here, okay? Another option. So I'm here, and maybe this hand is not where it needs to be. So one of the things I like to do is I'll move the face a little bit. And this is kind of a strange one. Like I said, he can attack this arm, so just be aware of it. But what I tend to do is I'll walk and I'll try to lace the arm and I'm looking to actually bring my knee in. Now he may follow me. Like anyone that knows how to do proper side control, that knee will always stay under the butt. No matter where I go, it'll glue to me. So be very cautious with this arm, be strong. You wanna go here, just kind of push, kind of move his face a little bit. Just enough to get here. Once I'm here, I can start to work my way in the guard. And also, sorry to hear, I'll lace. I can start to go here if you want to bail. So here, he's got pressure on me. My arm is out. I don't want to attack it. From here, I can't get this one there, so that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it this way just a little bit. If I can get his jaw to move that way, it's even better. Here, I can lace or I can go right back in the guard. Whatever makes you feel better. So, another one is when both your arms are under. Kind of like a shell. So I'm here, and he's trapped me. I don't want to hug him, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be here, just like the worst case scenario where I'm here. I want my arm to kind of be under him and here. Okay? Where am I here? Now, same thing, I'm gonna just bring my hips in, and I'm gonna bridge out, and I can almost turn it I try to turn towards the head. So I bridge up, and I come here. Once I'm here, push the head, so I can start to look to go for a front headlock position. So, 
And like I said in the other ones, be aware that they can bring this over and isolate the arm, so be very careful with that. We'll come here, it's like a shovel. And I'm gonna bring my heels in close to my butt. We'll get a strong base here. I'm gonna lift and push. From here, once I'm here, slide out. Cut the head down so that way they don't get up as fast. Because if I just kind of get up, you can turn with me. Big guys are just turn with you, we don't want that. So, so we go here, push the head, right in the headlock position. I could keep his head down and I can start to look towards his back. Okay? So, if you have any questions or any concerns, complaints, put them down in the box below.